Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're once again back for another songwriter showcase hosted by House of R. This time, however, we're checking out a new venue for the showcase in the form of 18 Bin, located next to the Arts Factory over in the Arts District of downtown Las Vegas. Featuring a vintage bike night, this event was a reunion of past and future Room 6 alumni, with many a familiar face on stage and off. So let's dive into this review, shall we? Oh, and bonus points if you can tell me why it's called 18 Bin. This video is brought to you by Select a Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Located on the corner of Art Way and Boulder Avenue and named in homage to Bin 702 at Downtown Container Park, bonus points! Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. This new location for the showcase is a nice mix of artsy eclecticism and familiar bar elements. With plenty of covered outdoor seating and a proper stage, it's a great place to catch live music, local DJs, and art performance. As usual, the show was kicked off by our host, Hal Savar. Hal's just released a new single called Bar Karma, so make sure you use his social media handle down in the description to check it out. That's also where you'll find the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video, along with the Room 6 email address and social media link. If you want to be featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, that's how you can reach me. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that down there too. Thanks! What can I say about Hal's music that hasn't been said a thousand times before? He's a powerhouse singer with a sense of humor and introspection, all wrapped up in a songwriter capable of catchy lyrical hooks that become earworms you're singing throughout your day. As always, he grabbed the crowd's attention and did a great job breaking the ice. Friend of the showcase and the channel, Mandolin, was up next. With a strong sense of purpose behind each lyric and a passion behind her music, Mandolin put on an amazing set of music full of hope and love, as well as the insecurities inherent in approaching a new love. She's a great songwriter by herself and a solid anchor for her band The Maybe Four. Nicholas Morgan was up next, joined on stage by our host, Hal Savar. Nicholas's music is sweet and groovy, and it's a great soundtrack for a road trip with laconic vocals and song structures designed to take the listener on a journey. His set got everyone into a great mood. Speaking of taking listeners on a journey, David Wax was up next. Known for his musical storytelling, David's sound is tinged with elements of Elvis Costello and early Chicago. With catchy musical moments sprinkled throughout his songs, he's always a treat to watch perform, and this time was no different. Next up was TJ Lavin, who is quickly becoming a showcase favorite. Once again delivering quick vocals over simple guitar chords, TJ regaled everyone with tales of traveling all over the world. From legendary BMX rider and host of MTV's The Challenge to singer-songwriter, TJ's led an amazing life and it was awesome to hear him share some of it. Joe the Associate hit the stage next, once again joined by his band. Joe's a crowd favorite and with quirky lyrics and his infectious good nature, it's easy to see why. The audience sang along with crowd favorites like Hot Bam and Sharks, and Joe and the guys did a great job warming things up for the next act, which was... Taking the torch from the previous acts of the night and lighting a bonfire, Masters of Resonance attacked the stage next. If you haven't seen or heard this band before, strap in, because you're in for a ride. With a trombonist who also plays flute and sings, a keyboardist that also drums and sings, a bassist dressed like a cop, and a frontman with face paint that screams his vocals, there's no mistaking when they take the spotlight. Behind all the amazingness is a serious political and socio-economic message, though, so don't forget to pay attention to the lyrics. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. It's baseball season, and you know what that means. Time to hit the old diamond and grab some grub. But going to a game gets expensive quick, right? Well, good news! Select a Ticket is here to save you some dough. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with SelectaTicket.com's all-in pricing with no added fees at checkout and no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off 
every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next MLB game. Just enter coupon code MLB10 at checkout. Thanks to Selection Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Finishing out the night was Chalmer, normally represented by just Chris Massa on lead guitar and Chalmer himself on rhythm guitar and vocals. This time, however, the band included Nicholas Morgan on drums. Adding a backbeat brought their already powerful sound up a notch and was a welcome addition. Chalmers known for powerhouse vocals and passionate songwriting, and the band did a great job sending everyone home with a smile. Overall, the first of, hopefully, many installments of the Songwriter Showcase at 18 Bin went great. If you get the chance, swing by 18 Bin and tell them Room 6 sent you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by 18 Bin if you get the chance. I hope that you'll swing by the social media accounts for every act I've mentioned here using the social media handles down in the description. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, I also hope that if you like the you know live stream thing, I'm live streaming December 17th, which is the third Sunday of the month at Soul Belly Barbecue, where I'll be for another one of these songwriter showcases hosted by House Savar. And then the next night on Monday the 18th, which is the third Monday of the month, I will be at Triple Down Bar inside the Punk Rock Museum for another Punk Gone Soft, which is basically an acoustic showcase at the Punk Rock Museum. And uh, it's a really, either one is a really cool night of live local music, but um, they're different. So I hope you'll swing by and check them out either on YouTube or on Twitch. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there. And don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.